Hi, I'm Meredith Harris with the Marlboro Economic Development Corporation, also known as MEDC, and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of our virtual newsletter geared towards keeping everyone informed about all of the city happenings here in Marlboro, Mass. I'll go over business news, school news, and overall city news for the past few months, and I'll also fill you in on exciting events and opportunities coming up right here in Marlboro. As we welcome spring and the start of warmer weather, the MEDC and the City of Marlboro have continued to stay busy. Here at the MEDC during our live video podcast, we discussed hospitality with our newest team member, Lindsay Jowrick, celebrated 10 years of success with our longest serving team member, Linda Martins, enjoyed some food and fun with special guest Michael Edelman from the Phantom Gourmet, and discussed the unique partnership between MEDC and the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce with President and CEO Rob Schlachter. The podcast is intended to explore economic development and give our followers and anyone interested in our community a platform to engage with us directly and answer questions about economic development and how it relates to Marlboro. These episodes are linked below and to join the conversation live, please visit our YouTube or Facebook page at 10 a.m. on the first and third Wednesday of every month. We also released the second episode in our Passing the Torch series, a collaboration with the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce focusing on mentorship and connecting Marlboro's business leaders with our community's future leaders. They help guide and share their experience. In this edition, we spoke to Marlboro High School senior, Brooke Bishop, and the owner of Meadowbrook Child Garden, Dr. Annette Fernandez, about pursuing a career in education. Last, but certainly not least, we went live with one of the region's largest employers and a leader in the life science industry, Cytiva. We sat down with four company representatives to take a deeper look at one of Marlboro's newest life science companies and learn more about what it's like to work in the life science industry and about the many opportunities available right now at Cytiva. To watch this live stream event or other episodes of Inside the Industry, please click on the links below. We were excited to see three of Marlboro's largest employers, Boston Scientific, Cytiva, and Synovian team up with the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce for a panel event guiding students and alumni on how to conduct the perfect career search. Hologic agreed to acquire a privately held commercial stage developer of molecular diagnostic tests and instrumentation in an effort to create a larger, faster growing company for a post-pandemic world. We are really excited to announce that BJ's Wholesale Club confirmed plans to move their corporate headquarters to the campus right here in Marlboro. They will be leasing approximately 187,000 square feet building a 120,000 square foot parking garage and bringing upwards of 800 employees to the city. For our small and local business owners, there are still funds available through the MGCC Micro Enterprise Assistance Program. And here at the MEDC, we recently released a video detailing our own financial incentive programs available to help start or grow your business. Information on both programs can be found in the links below. The city continued to fight the COVID-19 pandemic as Mayor Vision announced a partnership with Marlboro Hospital to open a vaccine clinic at the Courtyard Marriott on Felton Street. City and hospital staff have been working hard to vaccinate all eligible Marlboro residents and employees. Mayor Vision announced the ninth year of the Public Service Summer Internship Program for area college students and reported that the city was able to offer five $1,000 scholarships to Marlboro residents as a result of a special voluntary checkoff system on municipal tax bills. The Mayor's Local Government Academy was launched, which gives residents the opportunity to learn from city department heads at no cost about city operations, how the city raises money, sets policy, and most importantly, how tax dollars are spent. The Marlboro Public Library began moving to their temporary location in the Walker Building as construction for the new library is expected to begin this summer. And the annual project clean sweep took place over several weeks as the city celebrated Earth Day. The Massachusetts Police and the Marlboro Police Department partnered for a Coffee with a Cop event at La Shoe Brewing and Roasting Company, and Mayor Vigent and Fire Chief Breen invited residents to attend a public meeting regarding the proposed site for a new fire station on the west side of the city. Marlboro Public Schools celebrated their 100th day of school on March 5th, while three MHS teams recently entered the See Yourself in STEM Team Mentorship Program. All three teams made it to the next level after submitting videos to a competition organized by the Smithsonian Institution. On April 2nd, students and staff celebrated Autism Awareness Day. MHS celebrated by creating posters and recording a short video. Make sure to check it out. City and state officials gathered this past month for the official dedication of the Good Now Brothers Elementary School. More information about the dedication ceremony as well as the Good Now Brothers, who fought for the Union Army during the Civil War, will be linked below. 
Finally, the MHS varsity football team defeated Hudson 28 to nothing in their 118th matchup for the annual Thanksgiving Day game. Despite the fact that it was played in April, the weather made sure to remind us of November during the game. Coming up next month, keep an eye for the launch of a new partnership between the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce and the MEDC called Be Local. This will be an extension of our Dine Local campaign that has been running the past few months. Also, the Recreation Department is offering several programs for spring and the Marlboro Police Department will be hosting its second Youth Academy this summer for students entering 7th and 8th grade. Last but certainly not least, a reminder to our business community that MPS is looking for companies to participate in Marlboro's work-based learning program. You can find links with information on all of these stories and more in the description of our YouTube video. We also encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our new content that we're working hard to provide for you. Thank you for joining us here at MEDC for this month's edition of Marlboro City Happenings. And whether you're a resident or a visitor, a small business owner, or an employee of one of our large corporations, or maybe you're someone who's just interested in our community, we want to hear from you. You can visit our website, send us an email, or give us a call. You can also follow us on our social media at Marlboro EDC, where we focus on sharing and creating content especially designed with Marlboro in mind.